WTFI GOITW news you can trust on an island you can't with lead anchor Todd Tabernacle and Turner Thompson, also an anchor. Good morning and welcome to WTFI GOITW news 7 at 8. I'm Todd Tabernacle. And I'm Turner Thompson. News that matters. Something deadly washed ashore this week at Bum Beach. Really? What was it? It was a bum. Huh. More at 10. <laughs> but first, it was bring your grandkid to work day last week and everyone was getting into it. The police, the local fire department, and even international rock sensation sticks. Now, the, oh, there he is. Grandkids playing the sticks. Who are you? <laughs> That's great. Another millionaire's grandchild hard at work. Marathon man Charles Wideneck McDowell was arrested again this week for failure to pay child support. Again. The saddest part is that he was reported to authorities by his own son, Charles Wideneck Jr. Turns out your parents are liars, but it doesn't stop there. Teachers, liars. Principal, liars. Guidance counselor, liars. Your gym teacher, Mr. Crawford, he was legit. Yeah, he was pretty cool. He was cool. Yeah. So the slightest infraction or misbehavior in elementary school would have allegedly a negative lifelong impact and go on your permanent record. Right. Talking in class? Permanent record. Passing notes? Permanent record. These offenses would have an effect on your college application, job interviews, credit score, purchasing a house, you name it. Turns out that sinister permanent record was a hoax, and your parents are liars. Or poor. Most likely poor. In national news this week, the state of Ohio is in search for a new state slogan. So we came up with a few. That's right. Ohio, where everyone walks around with the energy of an aroused sloth. Hmm. Ohio, where they hand out free tattoo vouchers with every food stamp purchase. I think they'd hand out condoms. Ohio, where more men wear shirts at indoor water parks than anywhere in the continental world. Ohio, if a golden corral created a child with their lost and found bin. Ohio is essentially just a collection of whatever is left by the road at your local trailer park. That's right. That's right. And now to the word on the street with Jayesh. Oh yeah! Thanks, Jay. Cruise ships, they're back. And they're not hungry. Lead reporter and Calvin Klein hand model Todd Tabernacle asked the question on every Kong slips, why are the cruise ships back? The answer to that one is clear, Turner. Voting doesn't matter. Right. So the real question is, what's behind the cruise ship hate, Key West? We've witnessed tens of you at the crack of noon in your pajamas protesting the arrival of the next bucket of gomer piles from the exotic locations such as Alabama or Ohio as they descend on our precious island to spend their hard-earned five dollars on a local handmade arts and crafts from the Orient. Is it the environmental devastation? Here we are, sitting on the third largest coral reef in the world, home to hundreds of species of all sorts of creatures, literally watching as it withers into extinction right before our eyes. And as this skyscraper sledges through to dock at one of the precious few open viewpoints to the ocean on the sunset side, I ask you again, Key West, do we hate them because of the environmental impact? No, it's the buffets. After a thorough investigation into the intricacies of the cruise ship issue, we found the heart of the problem to be buffet-related. Buffet-related. Fact one, Key West hasn't had a buffet on the island since 1981 when Jimmy left. This is a classic story of the haves and have-nots, Todd. The cruise ship people have buffets. They get to eat at buffets constantly. They have not one, 
but on average seven buffets. They can eat what they want, when they want, and however much they want. Unlimited access can breed jealousy. It's only natural. Uh, Plus, the free alcohol available at all times, Todd. Imagine it. Oh, yes, Turner. But there has to be some consideration to the downsides of this level of excess. Hmm. Studies by a reputable scientist have shown that buffet-related illnesses have risen 2%. And buffet-related deaths is got to be like yeah, at least maybe, one maybe one per year at least one free food for thought <sighs> hmm. and now to the weather with tito tapatio how's the weather out there tago tago it ain't taco tago <laughs> what's it like out there Hey, yes, thank you, Todd. Um, yeah, it's uh, still hot. Ramshead, the conglomerate behind the Key West Amphitheater, has announced it's going to make the list of concert goers public for the upcoming Jimmy Buffett concert. The ploy hopes to shame Key West locals into freeing up their tickets for the secondhand market. <laughs> Got caught drinking his own piss again. Turns out, yeah. fatal. Turns out you can't drink your own piss for long periods of time. Right, like three days. Can't do it. <laughs> Three days of just consuming your own piss. It's not the most healthy. No. And so he really, he didn't drown or anything. He just washed up. It was like the real circle of life, you know? Yeah. He never put anything in that didn't come out. Right. He's and that's what killed him. He's 100% sustainable. Correct. The mystery of Wisteria. Solved. Dr <laughs> well, that's it for us. <laughs> Here at WTFI, GITW News 7 at 8. I'm Todd Tabernacle. And I'm Turner Thompson. Stay salty, Key West. Bums drinking our own piss. That's good. Yes! We got those bums finally. Nailed it. We smell funny, we look funny, we're not funny. Armpit of the world, oh Ohio. You smell, man. F***ing use deodorant. I f***ing hate Ohio. News you should believe in. Don't, don't, don't believe in it. No. Sip. Let's take a sip on the sip. old. The phase. Happy sauce. Mm. Courage juice. And will someone get me a fresca? Please get Todd a fresca. Take a fresca.